Jenny Boy. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I'm so sorry. It's okay. No. Not just because of the drinking for all the horrible things that I said to you. I was just lashing out, trying to cause an argument, anything to give myself an excuse to get I drunk. I know that now. It's okay. It's all... No, it's not. I love you so much, all I ever seem to do is hurt you. I hate it. I hate myself. You'd be better off without me. No, that's not true. Mr. Barlow. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel sick, tired, and ashamed of myself. Is it going to be okay? I'm afraid I can't answer that right now. Uh, Obviously, due to your history of alcohol abuse, there is a chance that your liver could be severely stressed. We won't know for sure until we've carried out some tests. Right, OK, and uh, what am I supposed to do in the meantime? Well, what's paramount right now is that you don't have another drink. No. I wasn't planning on that, believe me. Well, even so, I think it's best if I refer you to our drug and alcohol service, just to be on the safe side. Ah, uh, no, look, I don't need that. I've been sober since April last year. The only reason this happened is because I got mugged and, you know, I was a bit shaken up, so I've got it under control. And you'd bet your life on that, would you? Because that's what you'd be doing. What do you mean? I mean, because of Mr Barlow's previous diagnosis, even if he hasn't caused any lasting damage to his liver this time, he is still potentially one drink away from a massive internal bleed. That's possibly a fatal one. 